Hello, and welcome to Godly Play at St. Peter's Episcopal Church in Arlington, Virginia. Our story today is the Godly Play story, the parable of the mustard seed. We start Godly Play when I say, the Lord be with you, and you say, and also with you. To get ready to listen to the story, we're going to do the prayer of the three breaths. We take three deep breaths to get ready to listen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. old. Parables are old. This is colored gold. Gold is valuable, but parables are more valuable than gold. It has a lid. Hmm. Parables have a lid. Sometimes, even when you're ready, you cannot enter them, but you keep coming back and the, until you are able to enter the parable again. A parable is like a present. This box looks like a present. A parable is a present that was given to you before you were even born, even if you don't know what a parable is. Let's see what's in this parable. Huh. It's yellow. Like a lemon? Or like the sun? Maybe like a lemon drop. Let's see if there's anything else in the box to help us get ready. There's nothing else to help us get ready, so let's begin. Once there was someone who did such amazing things and said such wonderful things that everyone followed him. And as they followed him, they heard him talking about the kingdom of heaven. But it was not like any like the kingdom they lived in, and it was not like any kingdom that any of them had ever visited. It was not like any kingdom that anyone had ever heard of. So the people following him had to ask, what kind of kingdom is the kingdom of heaven? And what is it like? The person said, the kingdom of heaven is like when a person takes the tiniest of seeds, like a mustard seed. If a mustard seed were on my finger, you would not be able to see it because it's so tiny. And if that person took the mustard seed and pushed it into the ground and a shrub began to grow, and it grew, and it grew, and from that seed grew a shrub that was as big as a tree. birds of the air came
and they built their nests in the tree. More birds came. And they all built nests. I wonder I wonder if the person who planted the tiny mustard seed had a name. I wonder if the person was happy to come and see all the birds come. I wonder what the person was doing when the tree was growing. I wonder if the mustard seed was happy to grow into a tree. I wonder if the birds have names. I wonder if the birds were happy to find the tree. I wonder what the tree could really be. I wonder if you have ever been close to a tree like this. I wonder where this place could really be. And I wonder what you will think about this story as you go about the rest of your day. Thank you for listening.